In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the most effective way to change text on a scanned document in Adobe Photoshop. Before we jump right into Photoshop, there are two important things you need to get out of the way in order to effectively edit text on a scanned document. The first thing you need to do is get a clear copy of that document. If the document is not a soft copy document, you can convert your hard copy document using a digital scanner and then saving the image on your computer. Or you take a clear snapshot of that document with your smartphone, then save the image on your computer. Second thing you need to do is to identify the right font used in that document. To do this, open the file with any software of your choice. For this example, I'm going to be using Photoshop. You can open it with your normal photo viewing software in your PC. I'm opening with Photoshop because I'm going to be working on this document in Photoshop later on. So now I'll duplicate my layer as I would normally do. Now zoom into the portion which you want to use. Take a screenshot of that portion. On my PC, there's a screenshot button to just take a screenshot. After taking that screenshot, you go to your web browser and turn to the web page warpedfontis.com. Now, double click on this import icon there and go to the last screenshot you just made to load up. It depends on the speed of your internet. You can select the area which you want to sample. You can click on individual areas. I'm selecting this number part and This bars will show you different ways to play with this thing. You can increase the contrast, the brightness. Just play around with each of them that will give you the best result. Now, you would enter into the numbers individually 207479. It will tell you that it can continue like that without you inputting everything. But me, I just want to put in every single number there. This ad would be very frustrating. Well, that's what we get for using free stuff. Now, I'm right clicking next to load up and show you different typeface option. Here, you now select the one that matches best with the typeface in your document. Typeface, same thing as font. Now, the way I normally do this, I'll create a split screen of my desktop page. I'll open the web page on one side and my Photoshop document on the other side. Now, when I hover upon this font, it will show me the other text that is in this font family. So I will compare and look at the work of that text, compare with that on my original document to see which of them match best. I can see that this particular font now is matching very well with the one in my document. From the A to Z, then the 0 to 9, they are actually looking similar. And to confirm that, you can see that it's reoccurring Montserrat, alternate, Montserrat, bold, Montserrat, regular, Montserrat, medium. You can now see that that font is reoccurring. That means it is most probably the correct font. To download it, I will go to my search engine and click download Montserrat font family. Now, I would go down and you can click on any of these links. But make sure you are looking for the free one because unless you are willing to pay for this font, which is also a very good thing to do. And now you download the OTF, the open type font. Open it. Right click and click on extract to that folder's name. And when you click on it, you see all the font family here in the folder. Now select all of them. Right click and click on install. So this one is telling me now that the Montserrat alternative thing, whatever I want to download, is already installed. If I want to replace it, I'll click on no. Everything has already been installed because I've done this before. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, we can begin editing in Photoshop. Okay, with our font installed, let's start by editing this address. Go to your type tool, click on it. Make sure you're on correct font, which is Montserrat, and click on the regular. Now, click on the text and type in the exact words that is already on the address here. 
I am going to change that from center paragraph to left side orientation. Now change the color. The reason why we are typing the exact words and also changing this color is because we want to make sure we place our own text right on the exact spot where the previous test was sitting. So we don't do anything out of assumption. Now, play with the text size, find the best fit. Also, we increase the line spacing and just play with all those properties on the characters panel to see which works best. Now, I think we've gotten the best we can get for this. I'll turn off my new text layer, go back to the document layer, select with the marquee tool, select the entire address. And right click on this and go to view your content aware click on ok the text has disappeared now we'll turn on our text layer again and this time we'll change the text to our new address just for example we are going to use this address now change the color by clicking on the colors option and using our eyedropper to, to select the color from all that text now that is done we'll come down to the other text change other text we'll repeat the same procedures type tool type in the already existing text here change the color then play with the properties the size the line spacing to see which fits best now we've gotten our best fit, turn off the layer again, go to the document layer, select right click view and content our view, it goes off, turn on our text layer again. Change the color by using night dropper tool. And then we can change the text now to what we want. Change something further, we can change the amount here. Just make sure you follow similar procedure so you don't make any unseen errors. All right, click view content aware. Oh, you see there's an error here because content aware field would select um, a free space from anywhere in the document. Now it has selected the line above and filled it in that place where we, want, where we wanted it to be filled. So we'll make use of our patch tool to correct that. Use your patch tool and drag to an empty white space and then cover it up with a white shape. Now go back to our text, change the color and then change the values there. Now you see we've done justice to so many text. You can do that for other text just as you wish. The last thing I want to change now is the name. The name is Patricia Fleming. We'll be changing this to something else. Similar procedure, type in your text. This time we're using bold because obviously we can see that the name is written in bold font. Now change the color, just anything at all. It could be red, it could be blue. Fit it to the bottom, then increase, gradually increase the text size by rolling your mouse wheel. Just increase the text out, size till you get to the top of the existing text. Now use your arrow. Direction arrows to shift it to the left a bit. And you can see that our line spacing is quite off. So we can play with this now. We could reduce it a bit, reduce it till we get the best fit. And this is working perfectly. Turn it off. This time I'm not going to use fill, I'm going to go straight to the patch tool. Make a selection with the patch tool. And drag that selection to an empty white space and that covers it with a white shape. Turn on our um, text, change the color by using the hydro part to select black close to it. We can change the text now to air graphics or basically anything, just change the text to anything of choice. Now we're done, we it's time to export this document. You can go to file export and export as this 
document was an image so we need to export it as a jpeg image as well now for the quality we'll leave it at six because there's no much difference between six and seven every other thing is fine export now we're going to save it in the document folder we already have the scanned invoice now i'm just going to rename it so that i can know the difference between the edited one and the original one so i'll save and going to the folder you can open up the folder and then you can see that we have the scanned invoice and the scanned invoice edited i'll open up the original this is the original one the scanned invoice you see the original text now the next one is our edited version and when you zoom in you can see every change we've made to this document and it's looking as original or as authentic rather as it can be and that will be all for today's video i am trying to keep things short and precise here so i will save the other information for the next video which will be on editing complicated text using smart filters and effects please stay tuned that video will be coming next as usual subscribe to the channel it is very important for the growth of this channel like and leave a comment if you have any questions that's all bye for now